as well. Okay, good morning. So come to your hands and knees. If you'd like to have a ball, your ball nearby, um, you know, just grab that small little Pilates ball. And if you don't have one, no harm, no foul. And we'll come to hands and knees. Just keep the ball nearby for now. Let's just get started with a few little moments of body weight exercises. So I'll be on this mat for most of the day, I think, or most of the class. Hands under shoulders, hips and shoulders with the part, knees under hips. So just start with good old fashioned cat cows. Round and curl your spine, pull the belly in, tuck the toes, exhale round and curl. And start to extend your spine and don't rush into you know, deeper movements just yet, just get this little action happening. And you know that we, in any given day, we work on strength, flexibility, mobility, cardiovascular strength, uh, muscular endurance, and then let's come to a neutral position, just somewhere between the two extremes, and just move your hips. So we're just gonna warm up our spine, our hips, knees, wrists, ankles, things like that. The good things. Start to shift from side to side, and then maybe even make some circles through the hips. And then reverse that. So I'm just keeping it small for starters. And then come back to the center, walk your hands a little bit more forward, a little bit more so that you're, you're, you can push your hips back to your heels with a nice long spine, toes touch and the knees are wide and go to a child's pose. Sit back to your heels in child's pose, stretch your arms out and push the heel of the hand down. And then breathe around the sides, from fingertip to hip to toe tip and down the sides of the body. So get some length and space in the spine. Breathe in, breathe out. Walk your hands to the right. Stretch the left hand on top of the right. Okay, just getting a good little opening release. And then walk your hands to the left. Put your right hand on top of the left. And then come on back to the center. Walk the hands forward again. Push the hips back all the way. Let your belly soften between your thighs. And as you, as you inhale, come back to your hands and knees. Hands can be a little bit in front of you. Just bring the knees a little closer again. And then take the hips down to the floor and stretch the front of the body. And I don't know what we did yesterday, but I feel that. And then come back to your heels. Let's do that a couple times. So keep your arms in front of you. Drop your hips down, lift your chest up, and then push back. And take your time. Just get into the deep movements that you can start to release. Um, really important to release your hips if you sit a lot every day. And then take this back and forth to that side to side motion and make circles now bigger. And then if you're making big circles, go in the other direction. back to the center, walk your hands back underneath the shoulders, knees back underneath the hips. If you have your small ball, take it between your thighs. If you don't, just pretend you do. Good. Tuck your toes underneath you. Round and curl your spine, relax your toes. Now, you can stay with that because there's nothing wrong with it. Right here, you're squeezing the ball in between your thighs in any case, so you're getting that action in the inner thighs. And then if you want more, tuck your toes, hover your knees, and round and curl your spine. So nothing changes in the height of the knees, just the arching and the rounding of the spine. So the flexion and extension of the spine. We'll do three of those. Three more, I should say. Two more. Deb, you might want to mute, I think it's you. And one more. Now, come to neutral here. And then lift your hips up so you're in a down dog with the ball between the thighs. And if you don't have the ball, just imagine what you would have to do to keep the ball there. Press your chest to your thighs and lift up high on your tippy toes. Lower your heels. This is a downward dog. You can put your knees on the floor anytime you need to. Your arms are slightly in front of you. You should look like an upside down letter V. And then come back up high on your toes. Shift to a plank position, so adjust yourself now. You shouldn't have to do it again. Hands under shoulders, knees under uh, 
heels on top of the toes. Inhale, lift your hips in the air, downward facing dog. Squeeze the ball, keep it there. If you let go of the ball, it falls down, you have to do push-ups. Inhale, come forward to a high plank. Good. Exhale, downward dog. And then come back to a high plank. Hover your knees off the floor. Plank. Down dog. So without touching the knees. Come forward to plank. Inhale. Bend the knees. Hover. And exhale. Hips go back up in the air. So plank, hovering table. Come forward. Plank. Hovering table. Plank. Downward dog. Two more like that. Come to plank. Hovering table. Plank. Hips up. One more time. Plank. Hovering table. Plank. Hips up. Take a breath here. And then shift to the plank one more time. Lower the knees to the floor. Take the ball in between your ankles or your feet. Walk your hands forward. If you don't have a ball, you can use a yoga block. Not quite as comfortable. Walk the hands forward, shift your body forward. Let's, let's take it with a wide arm today. So take your arms a little bit wider than your shoulders, wider than your mat maybe even, and then bend the elbows and come down, and then push back up. Moving nothing from the head to the tailbone. Down and up, it's called a push up. Down, squeeze the ball between your ankles. Up, two more, down, Exhale up, one more time, down, exhale up, and push your hips to the heels. Child pose. Come up to your hands and knees, take the ball behind the right knee, and squeeze it. Flex the right foot, tuck the left toes. Lift your right leg in the air, so you shouldn't be higher than your hip with your knee. Right, so you're level to the ground. And then tap the knee to the floor, just for a tap, and then bring it back up. Flex the right foot. If you don't have a ball, you want to use a band, you put the, foot, the band around the bottom of the feet, and down. You could put a dog on there. Lift up, and down. So your hips stay even, your arms stay even, so you carry the weight in both sides. Now lift this one more time. Knee in line with hip, flex the foot, and pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knee down for a moment. We're going to combine those two movements. So we're going to lift up, pulse, pulse, and down. Okay? In three, two, one. Tuck your other toes if you like. Lift, pulse, pulse, and down one. Lift, pulse, pulse and down two. So make sure that you're not collapsing into your spine and you're not leaning just into the left side. Four, five, six, two more, seven, one more, is eight, and down. Good, if you need a little break, sit on your heels, child's pose, and take the ball over to the left. So squeeze the ball between the calf and the thigh, or the hamstring. Tuck the toes of the right foot under, lift the left leg in the air, hip height, and then lower to the floor. Ready, set, go. One, belly in. Two, three, four, abs are nice and strong. Five, six, two more. Seven, we hold this last one up. Eight, and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Combination coming up next. Tap the knee to the floor. Pulse, pulse. Two, pulse, pulse. Three, pulse, pulse. Four, belly in. Pulse, pulse. Five, up, up. Six, Two more, seven, last one, eight, and bring it down, good. 
Put the ball back between the inner ankles or the foot. On your knees, walk your hands forward. Arms wide. Push ups in three, two, go. <coughs> Excuse me, just five of them. Four. <coughs> three, sorry. Two. And one more. Sit on your heels. <coughs> Excuse me. I will clear that up. Um, once again, I want you to put the ball between your thighs. Squeeze it. Walk your hands forward. Tuck your toes and lift into the downward facing dog. And then walk your feet and your hands towards each other. Doesn't matter where you are on your mat right now. Take your hands down onto the floor so you might have to bend your knees. Let your head come down. Press through the bottoms of your feet. Press into the big toe, the little toe, the ball of the foot and the heel. And then bend your knees enough that your hands are right in front of your feet. Okay? So some of you will have to bend a lot, some of you won't have to bend at all. Shift your weight like you're going to go into a handstand, but you're not. Well, at least I'm not going to ask you to. Then tuck the chin into the chest and really round your back so you'll start to feel lighter in your fingertips. And then press down firmly through your feet as you roll up like a rag doll. And when you get up to standing, roll your shoulders back and around. I'm just going to look back and put it on my mat. And roll your shoulders back and around. Stretch your arms up overhead, inhale. Bend the knees, exhale, fold. Touch the floor with your hands, shift the weight towards the balls of your feet. Inhale, lengthen your spine, and then reach your arms out and up. So just getting a little bit more stretched into the back side of the body. Exhale, open up the arms and bend and fold. Plant your palms. Inhale, lengthen, rise up. So just like we did on the floor, a little combination of knee throws. Yoga, I call it a vinyasa sequence. Exhale, fold. Hands down. Inhale, rise. Halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way. Bring your hands to your heart. Okay, so it does look like you all have a ball on my video at home. Don't know what you've got. So again, a yoga block will work. A ball will work. Take your arms up shoulder height like your Frankenstein. Sit your weight to your heels. In yoga, we might call it chair pose. Come up and squeeze your inner thighs together. Good. And then go back down, squat. One. Oh, we'll make this two. I just gotta move the ball. And three. So keep the torso in one, one place, right? Four. Drive to the heels. Five. Good. Three more. Six. Last two. Yeah, you can put your hands anywhere. Seven. All the way up at eight. Reach your arms up over your head. Straighten your legs. Lift up onto your toes for eight. Seven. Ribs down. Belly in. Six. Five, four, three, two more times, two, one. Float the arms down, roll the shoulders back. Good. All right. Bend your knees a little bit. Try to come onto your toes and lower and lift. Okay? So, yeah, if you're in your sneakers, it'll actually be a little possibly a little easier. Um, on your toes, come down, and then come down and come up. One. You might have to, like me, you might have to put your heels down every so often. Two. Three. Strong arms. Four. Ooh, yeah. Five. <laughs> Six. So one reason it's good to do this barefoot, because look at the challenge that I'm having. Seven, and you know, we spend a lot of our time barefoot. Eight, stay up, lower the arms, lower the legs. 
All right, if you have a light set of weights, grab them. Light meaning two, three, could be five for some of you. If you don't have light weights, but keep the ball between your legs. Okay, good. Squeeze the ball high up between your thighs. Bend your knees a little bit. All right, palms, we'll start with the palms facing the thighs. Bring the arms up to shoulder height and bring it down. Now, when we do this, uh, gravity is going to want to pull you down, right? So I want you to hold on to that pause at the top for a moment so that you work against the gravity. All right, bend the knees, a little bit of a hip, uh, torso hinge forward, definitely not bad, okay? So arms up in three, two, go. Squeeze the ball while you're there, one, shoulder height only, two, three, Four, I'd go lighter if you could, Deb. Not sure, I can't tell what it is. Five, yeah. Six, two more. Seven, one more. Hold it up on eight, take it out to the side, bring it in, bring it down one. Up, palms down, shoulder height, two. Good, three, so you know when I say lightweights. I mean it. <laughs> Four. I said this in class the other day. Shoulder work just, it's not my favorite. But it's so important. Five. Six. Seven, squeeze the ball. Last one. Eight. And down, roll your shoulders back and around. You can straighten your legs for a second. Yeah, fun. See? Yeah, I'm glad to see you agree with me. All right, again, bend the knees a little bit, tuck the tailbone. So you don't, you never want to be in this position. You never want to have your shoulders behind your hips unless you're doing a back bend, right? And if you're doing a back bend this way, it's not efficient. It's going to hurt your lower back. So hinge forward just enough. Just enough to put a little bit of a pull on the glutes and to um, keep your spine long. Arms down by your sides, out to the side, and lower down. Palms face the floor, arms to shoulder height. Good, two, three, squeeze the ball. Four, five, six, two more. Seven, one more, hold it up on eight. Eight, bring it forward, bring it out, bring it down, one. Up, forward, out, two. Up, forward, out, three. Yeah, roll the shoulders. Up, forward, out, four. Up, forward, out. Five, up, forward, and six. Here comes seven, and here comes eight. Up, and out, down. Roll your shoulders back and around. Stretch your neck out if you feel tension in your neck. Keep your knees bent. Bring your hands to your shoulders. Good, okay, bend the knees. Right arm up, left arm down. Back to your shoulders. Left arm up, right arm down. Back to your shoulders. Keep going. Right arm up, left arm down. Shoulders. Left arm, right arm. Shoulders. Three. Four. Five. Six, squeeze. You want to be on your toes? Give you a little more challenge. One more set. Eight. And down. Good. All right, one more little shoulder thing. Squeeze the ball between the thighs. Hinge forward a little bit more now. Side, well, lateral raises. 
of rear delt raises, but they are allowed. All right, so hinge forward, bend the knees, pull up your pelvic floor, arms out, shoulder height, in three, two, one. Up, uh, hold on, turn your palms away from you. Yeah, all right, there we go. Three, two, we go. Up, down, one. So keep your palms facing away from you, two, three, four, five, six, squeeze the wall. Just activate your core, you know, seven, one more, and eight. Come up, stand for a moment. You know, I said one more thing, but I got one more thing. <laughs> Hinge forward again. This time, let's take the right arm forward, left arm back. Come to your side, left arm forward, right arm back. Okay, so um, instead of swinging forward and back, come to the center, stop, and pick it up again. All right, so bend the knees. Silly. Oh, shut up. All right. <laughs> Sorry, she just got involved. So right arm forward, left arm back in a hinge position. Oh, that's so funny. They, they're just so nosy. They're never there when you need them, though. <laughs> all right. That's so funny. Um, all right. Right arm forward, left arm back in three, two, one. One. Stop in the center. Two. Three. Probably turned on all your home devices. Four. Then there's the Alexa thing. Five. Six. Seven. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more, one more. Stand up. And I promise the very last thing. <laughs> but lightweights, right? Bend your knees, hinge forward, hands by your thighs. Arms up, shoulder, maybe up to your ears, but no higher. Well, I mean, you don't want to bring it back behind you. All right? So arms up, shoulder, or a little bit higher. Don't lift your shoulder blades up. Karen especially, right? Don't lift your shoulder blades up here. Just bring the arm up as high as your shoulder will give you. The flexibility in your shoulder and the mobility will give you. Okay? So bend the knees. Squeeze. Hinge forward. Um, it's not too far forward. It's about, I don't know. Ski slope forward, yeah. head to tail on one more line. Three, two, couple degrees, one. Arms up, one. Now remember, weight and gravity is gonna pull it down, work against it. Three, four, squeeze. Five, six, seven, Eight, two more. Nine, one more. Ten. Oh, I gave you ten. Okay, come up. All right, put the weights down on the floor. Stand at the back of your mat. Yes, the ball is between your thighs. Inhale, stretch your arms overhead. Exhale, bend your knees and squat. Hands to the floor, look forward. Walk your hands into a plank. Pause in the plank. We're only doing a couple, okay? Walk your hands back to your feet. Roll up. Stand up. Exhale, squat. Hands down, walk it out. Plank position. Walk it back. Rise up. Last one. Squat. Hands down. Walk it out, high plank. Go to your forearms if you need to. Lift the right foot off the floor without losing the ball. Lower it, lift the left foot off the floor. Lift the right foot off the floor. Left foot off the floor. Two more on each leg. Nice work. Good, okay, it's good to see from the side. And one, hold it here. Bring your knees to the floor. You can move the, block out, or the ball out and sit on your heels. Put the ball in front of you. Reach your arms all the way out in front of you. Push your hips all the way back to your heels. Okay. Now, once again, put the ball 
ankle or between your feet. You okay? Okay. Ankle between your feet, good. Walk your hands forward and lay down on your belly. Of your feet. So, how high, how far you open your knees is going to depend on losing that ball or not. If you can put the ball there, put the ball. Bring your forehead <coughs> or your chin to your hands. Forehead better because you're not cranking your neck up. I happen to be looking up at you guys, but um, don't you <coughs> do as I say, not as I do. All right, now push your pubic bone down and lift your thighs up. Lower your thighs. Lift your thighs up. Lower your thighs. Squeeze that ball. Get in a good placement. Three. Lower. So the big side back chain body, back chain side of the body. Four. <coughs> five. Six. Seven. Hold it up on eight. Squeeze the ball between your feet. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. Lengthen your legs. Turn the legs a little bit more neutral. So not open so much. Squeeze the ball between your feet. And then just curl the ball to your hips. And extend. So a little hamstring curl. Squeeze. Kick. And extend. Three. And extend. Now the knees are on the floor here. Four, right now. Four more. Five. Six. Seven. Now eight, extend your legs out. Lift your thighs up. Reach your arms forward. Keep your head and chest up, keep your legs up, and just pull the arms back and extend forward. Pull the arms back. If you want to use a light weight, go for it. Three, squeeze, four, squeeze, five. Keep squeezing everything, the ball, the back, the hips, your shoulders, two more. And on the last one, hold it up here. Bring the arms behind you. Lift a little higher. Three, two, and one. Let it go. All right, push your hips to your heels, move the ball out, and sit in a child's pose for a second to release your lower back. From the child's pose, come up to your knees, and swing your legs around. Have your weights nearby, should you want to use them. Put the ball behind your back, small of your back, the lowest part of your back, and sit up tall. So when I say tall, think of a clock on your side, that this is 12 o'clock, you're probably about 1 o'clock, just in like in your rowing 11 to 1 kind of thing. All right, uh, let's start without the weights right now. First, I want you to C-curve your spine, so I want you to scoop out your belly, relax your shoulders. And then use your hands under your thighs for a second, pull yourself up to 12 o'clock. So C-curve at 1 Lift up at 12. Good. And <clears throat> do three more of those. Pull the belly in like you got punched in your stomach. And lift up. Relax your shoulders. Two more. And one more. We're going to stay in the C curve. We're going to stay in the C curve. Release your arms. Turn the palms up. Good. All right. So just stay here with the scooped out body. Belly. Bring your arms down. Bring your arms up, bring your arms down. C curve, up, if you have a second ball, you can put it between your thighs, down, up. So just holding on to this, three more. Up, down, two more, scoop up, down, one more, scoop up, down, and come up and just relax over your thighs. And then come back up to 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Now keep a long spine. Same thing. 
arms out in front of you. Good. Reach the arms up. Press them down one. So try to not go back into that C curve. Try to extend the spine, bring the chest forward. Two. Three. Four. Just holding on to it. Don't hold your breath. Five. Six. Good. Watch the um, arms with your weight. Uh, eight, eight, seven. One more. Is eight. Hold your arms up. Lift yourself to 12. Go back to one. 12. One. 12. One. For four. Don't come up too high and the ball wants to leave you, right? Three more. Two more. And one more. Good. Release. Come forward. All right. Take your weights in your body. Take your ball back between your thighs. It could be higher or by your knees. It could even be lower. Um, the lower, the, the further away from your belly button the ball is, the more unstable you're going to be. All right. So if you want more stability, keep it you know, higher up. All right. Take your weights in one in each hand, the light weights. Lay on your back. I guess I could turn this way a little bit. Bend your knees 90 degrees. 90 at the knee, 90 at the hip. Arms are going to start over your shoulders. You can have your palms facing away from you. Now, extend your arms out behind you and legs out in front of you. And then bring them back in. Option one, keep doing that. Option two, the head and shoulders come up. And they stay up. Option three, the head and shoulders come up and they don't stay up. So they go down as the arms go back. And as the arms go back, the legs go out. And we've got four. Five. So we're only bringing our arms, you know, like knee height. Six. I'm looking at you. Seven. One more. Eight. Now bend the knees, arms up, shoulder height. Right, I'm sorry, arms up in front of you, shoulders are long. And pump the arms for one, two, three, turn the palms up. One, two, three, palms down. One, two, three, palms up. One, two, three, squeeze the ball. One, two, three, palms up. One, two, three, palms down. One, two, three, palms up. Small movements. Two, three, last time. One, two, three, palms up. One, two, three, head and shoulders, arms down. Keep the ball where it is, arms open up to a T. Inhale. Move your knees over to the left side, but don't touch the floor. Squeeze the ball. Come back up to the center. Inhale. Exhale. Move the knees to the right side. Don't touch. Inhale. Exhale. Legs over to the right, left side. Inhale. Come back to center. Exhale to the right side. Inhale. Back to center. Exhale. Left side. Inhale. Back to center. Exhale to the right. Come back to center. Exhale to the left side. Stay there. Hover the legs. Squeeze the ball between the thighs. Good. Now keep squeezing the ball for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hold on eight. We're on one. Hold it there. Come back to center. Other side. You're still hovering. Squeeze the ball for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, squeeze and hold, come back to center, and put your feet on the floor, take the ball out, lift your hips up and put the ball under your back, like as close down to your tailbone as you can. Bring the legs up in the air, flex your feet, point your toes, flex your feet, so you're supported by the ball, point your toes. Good, now put a neutral position or a floint. So somewhere between a flex and a point, uh, people call it Barbie feet, people call it yoga point. Right leg up, left leg hovering off the floor. Inhale, come back together, and then switch the other leg. One leg hovers, one leg up. Anybody's quads feeling like sore? Up from yesterday, we did close, close squats. 
All right, so keep doing this, but meet in the center and lower the right leg. You want a little bit more challenge. You might even want to lift one arm at a time or perhaps both arms all the time. I just gotta keep my ball from moving. And let's do, um, this is right, left. We're gonna do one more round, right, left. Here we go in three, whoops, two, ah, and when I turned my head and I lost it all. Okay, back to the floor with your legs. Actually back in the air with your legs. Open up your, uh, take the soles of your feet together. Open up your knees, but keep your heels higher than your knees. So this is not the action here, right? The action is out of the knee and hip. So the legs are straight up. Let's take them out a couple of degrees. Soles of the feet together or at least heels together. Bend your knees, bring them towards your shoulders, but don't let the heels drop. And then push them back away, one. Bend the knees, so try not to be straight up in the air. Try to be a little bit lower, you know, maybe a third of the way down. For some, you might be able to go even lower, four. And of course, if I'm not looking at you from the side, it's hard to tell where your legs are. Five, six, seven. We're gonna hold the legs out on eight. From there, make big circles. One, outward circles or inward. It doesn't matter if you're doing one, one way. We're gonna do one more and go the other way. And then reverse it. Notice what you have to hold on to, to not fall over, it's your core. Come back to center, hug the knees in, and just stretch the legs straight out in front of you now. Stretch the arms over your head. Reach long in two directions. Good, give your spine a little massage here so you can rock and roll side to side a little bit. and then come back, bend your knees, lift your hips up, and sit up a little bit. You're gonna put the ball between your shoulder blades, and if you can lay your head on the floor, just go there and open up the front of the chest and shoulders. If you don't um, feel comfortable with your head hanging that close to the floor, if you do have a yoga block, you can put it underneath your head, or you can just hold your hands here a little bit. And it's nice to hold your hands there anyway to open up the chest and shoulders. Let your legs kind of splay out. They, they, they can be bent if you'd like, but otherwise, let them sit out all the way on the floor so you get that release in the front of the hip. And the upper chest, the upper back, the chest opens up. Soften your glutes. Breathe in, breathe out. Two more times. Last breath in, breath out. And then you're going to bend your knees. And I mean, I could stay here all day, but we're not going to. Lean over to one side, come up. Come to a cross-legged position. Just put left in front of right. Just put your ball and your weights up to the side. Stretch your arms up overhead. Hinge forward, walk your hands forward, push your hips back. Walk your hands back in, lift your chest up. Lean back and put the right in front of the left, unless it's what you just did. Adjust the flesh, bring the arms up, inhale. And hinge forward, exhale, walk your hands forward, and let your head go. And come back up. Take your feet wide if you can. Bring your hands behind you. Come into a white squat. Arms on the inside of your legs, chin down, head down. And then press your palms down, lift your hips up, turn your toes forward, hang your head down, chin to chest, belly to spine, pelvic floor lifted, rag dot is down. All the way up. Arms up. And prayer. You are done for Thursday. Good job, guys. Stay strong, stay healthy.